we had a really interesting day yesterday. We um, we travelled up from the Great Ooze and uh, we went through Denver Slough, through Denver Lock, and we went down to the to the lock to enter the middle level. Um, and that's a really interesting experience. And my advice would be, when you do that, is try and do it when the when the flood tide is in. And, but before it turns into the ebb tide when it's going out. So you really want to get about half an hour before the turn. So you've got the flattest, fullest amount of water in which to uh, manoeuvre the boat. Because you have to go down past the lock and then come back. And it's it's a, almost like a complete, it's, it's, a, it's more than 90 degrees turn. It's something like a 270 degree turn. So you come right back on yourself into the lock. If you've got a lot of water and there's very limited current, then it, then I think you can do it really, really well. It is, it's relatively straightforward. In strong currents, I think it would be really difficult. Um, the the other thing that I think is in, it, uh, is important is when you go through there, the first stretch of the river after that um, is uh, it's it's the highest point. So you're actually looking down onto the landscape either side of you, and uh, there's actually a trig point showing that this is the highest place. Um, so if the wind is blowing across that particular part of the river, you know, you need something really warm on and, 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 and waterproof if it's raining to, uh, to, to, to keep you, to keep, to keep you in, in, in good order. And then yesterday, there were fantastic thunderstorms and lightning and stuff in the distance. And we really had to race through to where we are now, which is in March. And in March, I, I, I can only recommend that you come to the uh, Ship Inn, which is, which is by the first set of um, public moorings. You can pull in here, you go up the stairs, Ship Inn, great beer, lovely food, really lovely people. Um, and also yesterday I managed to do the first lock. And it's tricky by yourself, because although you tie the boat up, you you have to go and open the shutters and when you open the shutters it drives the boat back so watch watch your ropes because they will unfurl and the ropes will the boat will go back you have to sort of really really be on it but apart from that everything's going really really well we're just going to go up river now and uh, go past uh, see if we can get get some water for the for, for the boat um, we fueled up as well uh, yesterday so we're looking good and um, I think we'd better get on our way. Okay, catch you later.